We recently spent a month traveling in Spain and Portugal. We were walking around every city every day, all day for 28 days. It was important to me that I have a very minimal approach to my travel camera bag. So today I want to talk about which gear I decided to bring and why and what I wish I had. But first a disclaimer, I did travel with Andrew who has his own set of gears. So if needed, we could help each other out throughout the trip. As you guys already know, I love my breath brevity backpacks and for this trip I decided to bring the brevity jumper mainly because it has the zipper compartment my other brevity backpack it was the magnetic clasp even though I really liked it I felt more comfortable traveling with a zipper top since that is a major problem in Spain I also bought a 3 liter Peak Design backpack right before the trip. Since I'm pretty short, I went for the small one, but it turns out to be a little small for the gear that I brought. I mainly got this for the days that I wanted to travel lighter. So I did use this a lot, but honestly, it doesn't really fit everything I wanted to bring in this bag. With this side bag, it's easier to have my back in front of me when we go somewhere that's pretty crowded. The Canon R6 is my main camera and I knew I should bring at most two lenses with me on this trip. It was easy to choose the first one, which I went with the 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8. It was tempting to choose the 24 to 105 instead, but I knew I really needed to practice using the 24 to 70. But in the end, it worked out great for both photos and for videos. The stabilization was great for not having a gimbal. Even though my favorite lens is the 35 millimeter, I knew I should probably bring a wide angle lens just in case. So my second lens, I decided to go with the 16 millimeter. But honestly, I didn't really use the 16 millimeter at all throughout this trip, maybe twice. It's just a lot of trouble to be switching lens. And sometimes if I'm traveling lighter, there's just no way for me to bring two lens out with me. I think in the future, I can probably get away with just using one lens. As for the mic, I brought this Deity V Mic D3 Pro. I didn't really have any good options for mics. I'm very jealous of Andrew with his like Sony wireless mic. I hate this mic because it constantly falls off the Canon R6 and it doesn't automatically turn on. So sometimes I forget to turn it on. For my other mic option was the Rode Video Mic Pro. And for that mic, we always have audio issues and obviously we don't do a good job checking our footage all the time so sometimes we will record a lot and it just doesn't work out it's just like very staticky and doesn't capture any sound it's very weird we already got a replacement and that's still an issue sometimes i made a huge mistake packing for this trip i totally forgot to bring any nd filters it works out fine for photography but for filming i definitely couldn't get any nice bokehlicious shots we're mostly out during during the day so I had to make my apertures very small which increased the depth of field never make that mistake again one important accessory that I always had with me every day was this peak design strap I have the thicker version I actually didn't know they have a thinner version but this strap saved me so much trouble especially if I'm using the small peak design side bag I basically would be double strapping every day I would have the side bag and with a camera on me this is a lifesaver extra batteries and memory card are a must one thing i wish i had but didn't bring was an external charging battery for our phones it's unrelated to camera gear but it's super important when you're traveling especially if you're using google Maps throughout the day. I actually have this light cube that can also serve as an external battery, but I totally forgot about that capability. So I should have just used that. I also always had an AirTag with me. I had an AirTag in my wallet and the wallet is always in my bag. Just in case if 
our bag to get taken, we can kind of track it down. And that's it. That's basically everything I brought with me every day in Spain and Portugal. I was lucky that Andrew's main lens on his Sony a7S III was the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter. So we did a lot of the vlogging shots on his camera. Honestly, I think we could probably vlog with the 24 to 70 millimeter too. It was so nice to be able to travel with just one lens and not having to switch the lens throughout the day. I will definitely be bringing the 24 to 70 millimeter with me on my next travel, but I do have to say it's very heavy and very bulky. Once I take it out of the Peak Design side bag, it basically is not going back in the bag. I would carry it with a strap throughout the day and by the end of the day, I kind of just want to throw it away because it's just so heavy. Something for you to consider if you're thinking about packing this on your travel next time. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you find it to be somewhat helpful. I'll see you in the next video. New set and doesn't it look super different and i'm using andrew's new dji wireless mics it's a little heavy for this shirt but i have not filmed in a while and we're finally back Hopefully this mic is good. Maybe I should test it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> 